Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Okay, so we covered both paths of Booster, involving fighting him and getting the amulet, which I seeded with the amulet because that's really the better option anyway. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and get that on uh, Gino because I didn't even give him an accessory. He is, you know, some stuff is different from two episodes ago. And at the same time, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch Bowser out for Mallow. For a, a different reason. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and head out here. And we'll finish off Booster Tower with one particular case. So yeah, we have the knife guy and the great guy. These guys are actually pretty easy overall, and the opposite color is what they're weak to. So great guy is actually weak to thunder, and knife guy is weak to fire. So Gino is basically just the wild card that does stuff, and I'm just going to attack great as it is, and I'm going to use shocker against him. And that should hit for uh, 225, that's not bad. Now, I would jump, but I actually am going to use the Fire Orb just to kind of show the weakness of Knife Guy against Fire, in case you guys haven't been using jumps a crap ton, like I had. So I made that... So yeah, I did that with the intention of, uh, in case. Alright, I'm going to blast the uh, Knife Guy again. A lot of my focus is going to be on him because of that. And, uh... Another 225. And I can't use specials anymore, unfortunately. Not that it matters, this masher could do some decent damage. And I lost my thunder, too. Crap. Alright, uh, screw it. Do I still have Ab- I don't have Able Juice, do I? Nope. Oh, great. Blast him away for 162. And there goes... Knife. Now I just gotta deal with Great. Could've made this easier, or not for the fact that I lost my abilities to do stuff and I don't have any able juice to cover me back. Not that it matters. Group's easy. There they go! And with that, you get a cool little scene just before you get your bonus, in which they decide to jump off the tower. And with your rewards, you get 30 points, 25 coins, and a flower jar. Cool stuff. And now we immediately leave the pa Booster Tower, excuse me, and face an area called Booster Hill. And with that, we get the Booster Hill minigame. Let's take a look at it. 
You can only move left or right and jump. Can't go forward or backward. That runs automatically. Touch the snippets or any of the barrels and you'll fall back. Check. Jump on the barrels or the snippets to sprint forward. Reach out and touch Toadstool and you'll win flowers. Toadstool. Blech. I don't know why I slurred on that one. And here we go. So this first part's actually pretty easy and you can get a couple flowers relatively easily. So I got my first flower right there. But after a while, things start getting really, really, really crazy. So, uh, I really only expect to have that default flower and maybe another one, and that's about it. This minigame lasts a while. Oh, missed that one. There's my second flower, so that's cool. Oh, I got whacked. And I'm just getting thrown all the way back. <laughs> yeah, after a while, things start getting really, really, really out of whack. Oh, there's a third flower. Oh, that was terrible. I got a third flower anyway. I didn't expect to get a third one. I was hoping... I was expecting two. I can try for number four. But now the snippets start getting really, really crazy. So... There's number four. Cool. And now she's completely out of the screen. Oh, God. This is where it all starts to fall apart. And the snippets disappear. I managed four flowers. That's actually not bad. Because I was expecting just two. And with that, immediately we face the town of Marymore, which is where we are now. Oh, great. Alright, so we're actually at eight minutes. Some stuff to do before we continue. This is the hotel thing. And uh, we got all this. Now, before we actually talk to these guys, there is a hidden treasure here. All you gotta do is just go right here, and jump on this spot, and there's your next hidden treasure with a frog coin. And right up here is actually a spot called The Suite. Of course, you have just the bellhops that don't really say anything. But anyway, we'll talk to you, and in this case you have, uh, buy some things rest of all. We're gonna do the purchasing, because I don't really need to do the, uh, suite right now. If you do the suite for the first time, you'll get yourself, I think it's a flower tab, but one of the main reasons for doing it is because you can get discounted Caracara Colas for 150 coins. We'll do that at some point, because it has a couple neat little moments. But anyway, top concerns. Uh, Super Hammer is actually weaker than the Masher, so don't worry about it. Handgun. Grab, just grab one of everything, pretty much, except for this stuff. It's not really necessary. Making equipment. And, uh... Oh, right, I still have that. Upgrade the Happy Shirt. Jump shoes still exist because I was using jumps just freaking all the time, so they're still there for that reason. Womp glove is better. I lose my... I'll lose all that. I might as well do it. Mega cape. Wait, why do I have freaking... Just do that.
Work Pants is actually better than Happy Shell. Well then, okay. So, you sit on Work Pants, loser! Of course, the B-Tub Ring actually isn't for anybody. I was just mostly getting it so I can get rid of coins. But, um... Just dump pretty much everything else. Oh god, I'm dumb. I forgot the weapons. Well, guess I gotta buy them all again. Um, these two particularly. Now I just gotta re-equip them. I, I, I derped. Oh, Chomp Shell's only one attack difference. Oh, Christ. Oh, well. Um, brain being dumb. Don't worry. Okay, so that's all done. And we're actually at 11 minutes, so I'm just going to jump here, save this game, and I am done with this episode. Next episode, we actually cover Mary more proper with its events. So with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.